Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. And today I want to show you a better, faster way to look for alternatives in pandas. What do I mean by this? Well, let's first set things up. I'm going to say import numpy as np and import pandas as pd. And from pandas, import series and data frame. That's like my standard thing. And now I'm going to create a simple data frame. I'm going to say here df equals a data frame. Now let's just say here it's based on np random randint from 0 to 1,000. And we'll say it's 6 by 6. Right? Let's kind of make it kind of big. And I'm going to say here the index is a list of a, b, c, d, e, f. And the columns are a list of u, v, w, x, y, z. And ta-da, we have our data frame with lots of random numbers. So now I want to know where row C is, let's call it 744. Well, that's pretty easy, right? I could say here, df lock of C equals equals 744. It's as easy as that. I say df.lock, that's going to pull out based on the index. That's say the rows. df.lock of C, so that's row C. And where is it equals 744? And I get back a Boolean series. A Boolean series where the index of this series I get back is actually my column names, u, v, w, x, y, z, and it says, where is this true? And it's true for column u. Okay, how about I want to know where row c is 408? And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this is kind of dumb, right? And it is. I'm just going to copy and paste because that is a programmer's best friend. I'm going to say, where is lock of c equal to 408? And I get true back there. But now I want, let's see, you know what, let's do, let's do one more. Let's do one more just for the sake of argument. I'm going to say, I want to know where C is three. And by this time you're like, oh my God, I can't believe he's going to wear out his copy and paste on his computer. And sure enough, it's going to be true there for column W. So now, you know, I hope where this is going. I want to know where C is either, let's see what that value was, 744, 408, or three. Well, how can I do that? And the answer is a simple way. And the way that I've been doing it for a long time is to use OR. So we can use the vertical bar, sometimes known as pipe, to take two different conditions that return Boolean series. And we then can connect them and get back a new Boolean series as a version of OR on our series. So what do I mean by this? The F lock C of 744 is going to give me this Boolean series where U is true. Then df lock c equals 408 is going to be giving me this Boolean series where v is true. So if I say df lock c equals 744, or with the pipe, df lock of c equals equals 408, what's going to happen? Well, this is going to give me a Boolean series, the one we just saw. And this is going to give me a Boolean series, the one we just saw. And it's going to find where is one, or where are both, of the values true. So if both are false, it's going to return false. But if one of them is true, it's going to return true. And sure enough, I get back here, true, true, false, 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 false. And of course, I can add to this. So I can say, well, I don't want to just do that. I'm going to say also df lock of c equals equals, uh, what was the third one there? Oh, it's already 744, 403. Oh, <laughs> Such a small number, easy to miss. And so now what's going to happen? It's going to say, well, let's see where this one or this one or this one is true. And wherever one of them is true, we're going to get a true value back. And I get back. Now, this true, 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 false, 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 this Boolean series, which I can then use as a mask index or all sorts of other things. The thing is, what are we doing here? We're saying, I want to find out where this is true, where this is true, where this is true. There's another way to do this, the isIn method. And so what I can do instead is say df.lock of c dot is in, and then I give it a list. I say 744 or 408 or 3. And I get back exactly, but exactly the same result. Now, I happen to think that is in is just more elegant. It's shorter. It's easier to understand, easier to read once you know about it, right? Not everyone knows about is in, but now you do. But I ask myself another question sometimes, which is, which is faster, right? Which of these techniques will execute faster? Now, let's think about it a little bit. Here, I'm creating a new Boolean series. And I'm creating a new Boolean series and a third Boolean series, and then I'm oring them together. That's, that's got to take some time. Whereas here, I'm just creating one Boolean series. So if I had to guess, I would say that the 
uh, where I'm using or, it's going to take longer. How can I find that out? I can use time it. So percent time it, you know, do that on this. And time it runs the code many, many, many times. Here we go. It did a thousand loops of these. And it found that it took about 319 uh, microseconds to run this. Now, that's not a lot of time to lose from like your lifespan, hopefully, uh, on this. But let's see. What if I do time it on this with the is in? And it's once again going to run about a thousand loops, probably. Sometimes it does more if it takes less time. Yeah, I get 10,000 loops because it took only 80 microseconds. That means it took about a quarter of the time, right? Because 80 divided by 319 is like 320 there, right? It's going to be 25% of the time there. So basically, just by using dot is in, I was able to get something that was more readable and ran faster. I think that's pretty compelling, huh? Okay, I hope this was useful. Let me know what you want to learn. Let me know what I should present here about Python and pandas. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll be back soon with lots more on Python, pandas, and everything in between.